Hello everyone, today we are going to make a really simple website using Adobe Dreamweaver. If you have any basic uh, experience with HTML, that's going to be a big help. If you don't, that's fine. Anyway, I'm going to make a link to my intro to HTML video tutorial and then uh, web image preparation so you can watch it first. So Dreamweaver has been known as the very first WYSIWYG HTML editor. What you see is what you get. So uh, we will see how it works. So let's get started. So this is the end of a very simple website uh, we're going to make today all together. So this is the end of the website for the Monte Alto. It's uh, kind of a local uh, coffee shop in my town. And then um, so I added some kind of a header on top. May your coffee be strong and your Monday be sure. I love this quote. And then there are five buttons. It's all rollover. Rollover buttons are kind of uh, uh, has the multiple functions. Uh, aesthetically, it looks great, and also it gives more hints, clues for the viewers, so they can know. Oh, this is a clickable area. I can click on it. So I made a kind of really simple internal link to a coffee pages. See, and you can go back to home. Also, on the bottom. In the footer area, I added the, you know, uh, the four uh, social media site link. It's going to be an uh, external link to existing website. So when you click, once you click on Instagram, it brings me to Instagram page, <clears throat> Facebook, and Twitter, and YouTube. Okay, so we'll see uh, how it works in Dreamweaver. Okay, so first, before we start, Please download the folder. Uh, I provide a link in my description. So please download this folder uh, with images folder inside and then I prepared all the images we're going to use. So this is going to be our root folder. Important thing is um, always uh, this website thing is all about the linking. So um, any images you're going to use or any other kind of external files you have to have it in your root folder first. So um, we are ready to go. So now go to Dreamweaver, open the Dreamweaver, and we're going to create a new site. We're going to use just the HTML. So um, create it. And then before we start, we have to make the, the proper link to our root folder. So go to site menu, new site. It is called the site definition. And then we're going to make a link first before we start. So site name could be anything. Uh, I will name it as a coffee shop. This could be anything. And the second field, the local site folder, this is important. It's going to be linked to our root folder, which is the uh, coffee shop root. So I'll click on this browse uh, folder button. And then mine is in my USB. So many folders and Dreamweaver for beginners and coffee shop root. That's my root. Do not click on the images yet. Just to choose the folder. Choose it. And the next thing is go to advanced settings, uh, local info section, the very first field. We're going to make a link to uh, the images folder, which is this. Choose the folder and choose it and save it. My Dreamweaver. Yes. So uh, in your Dreamweaver files tab, you're going to see this. Everything. Okay. Okay. So there are several different modes. Code mode, split, and designs. Okay. So for now, we're going to use a split for this. Then, first thing is, as I showed you at the very beginning, we're going to have the three kind of uh, uh, the rows of table set. One for the header on top, one for the, uh, the buttons we call the nav bar, and then one for the hero image. Easiest way is go to insert tab. If you do not see this, it is under window menu and insert. Let's insert a table. So table was a design, originally designed for this spreadsheet-like kind of data uh, presentation, but also we can use it for the images. So click on table. I'm going to need to have 
three rows and seven columns. Table with 1200 pixels. And I'm going to set uh, border thickness and cell padding and cell spacing everything to zero so uh, they can uh, face each other. So no gap in between. Okay, so it looks like that. So first, there are three rows. One, two, three. First, the top row, we don't need to have all these seven table cells. So what I'm going to do is select the first one, keep pressing your mouse button and drag it right next to. Okay, so um, the first top rows, seven table cells are all selected. Now go to edit menu, choose the table and merge cells as one, see? So our second row, since we're going to have uh, the multiple buttons, I'm going to leave it as it is. And the bottom row, the third row, I'm going to repeat the same thing. I'm highlighting all seven table cells. Go to edit menu and table and merge. Because that's the spot for the our hero image. So I'm going back to the first table cell, the top one. Now go to insert tab again. We're going to insert the image. Click on the image. And then it will open the, your root folder. Then first thing is the header. This one. Open it. So I have a header. Now, the bottom row, the third row, I'm going to need my hero image. Hero image that should pack. So it looks good. And then we have five buttons. Home, about, coffee, uh, events, and contact. No, no, the dessert and com um, the contact. So I'm going to leave the first one as a blank. My second table cell, I'm going to have a home button. And this home button is going to be a rollover button. So that means when I hover my mouse cursor over my button, it will change kind of color or settings, anything. So let's do that. So in your HTML, the, the insert tab, scroll down almost bottom, you will see rollover image. Click on that. So I'm going to browse the first original of the home button, which is home underscore off dot PNG. I saved this, the transparent PNG file. Open. And my rollover image is going to be home underscore on. Open. And OK. See? Uh, I want to move it a little bit. So I'll place your mouse cursor on the border. Let me move it up to somewhere, maybe there. Okay. And then the right border is kind of push it back. So I'll place your mouse cursor on the border and push. So uh, the button fits in the table cell. My second button, click on the, uh, the one, two, three, the third cell. And then I will repeat the same thing. Roll over image, click on that, and browse. Second button is coffee. Oh, no, I mean, yeah, about off. <laughs> about, and then browsing the roll over image, which is about on, open, and OK. And then move this border so the about button fits to the table cell. And the next table cell, click in there. Roll over image again. Roll over image. Browse. The next one is, uh, I think there is a coffee. Off. Coffee. On. Open. And OK. Move the border. Next. Roll over image. Browse. Dessert off, browse, dessert on, on and off. Okay, move the border and the last button, roll over image. This time, normally um, the next last button is a contact button. Contact off, roll, uh, and then a roll over image is going to be contact on. Open. OK. Move the border. So let's see how it works. I'm going to go to File, Save As. 
Please the uh, save your first home page always as index.html in your root. Save it. Let me preview it in Google Chrome. See? And then I'll see what happens. When I hover my mouse cursor on the home button, home, it's a roll over, on and off, on and off, on and off, and on and off. So it looks good. All right. So now next, go to the other next thing. Oh, my Dreamweaver. Uh, I'm going to uh, use my design mode so I can see the more uh, the presentations. So um, my mouse cursor is right next to my entire table set. You see the kind of a gigantic mouse cursor is blinking. Hit the return key. Let me type the other title of this cafe. Uh, it's in my um, uh, local cafe in my town, Monte Alto. I think that's Italian, I guess. And then, uh, since this is a title, I want to make it bigger. So I'm um, highlight this title. And then in your properties panel, if you do not see this properties panel, it is under window menu and properties. Okay. I'm going to change the format from the paragraph to heading one. That's a big. Okay. So it looks good. And then also, I want to use a different color for my headings. So what I want to do is, let me highlight it. You may not have to. Um, then in your properties panel, go to page properties again, click on that button. And then you see the headings, CSS thing. And then let me change the heading ones, text color to uh, something orange. Orangish color, like that. Something brighter. Return and OK. See? So it changes color. So from now on, uh, whenever and wherever you type the other heading one as a title, then it will have that color. So next, let me hit the return key. I'm going to insert another tab uh, table set for the, um, the other images. So I'll go to table, click on the table. This time, we're going to have two rows and four columns. Two rows and four columns. Say OK. See that? OK. So the first top left table cell, I'm going to have image. So go to uh, your Insert tab. We're going to insert the image. Image. First one is going to be coffeebeans.png. Choose it. See, the same thing happens. I'm going to move this, the, um, uh, the border, table border, to right next to this image. And then I'm going to place this somewhere in the middle, like that. And then, in that table set, one, two, three, the third one, I'm going to import next image, which is cake. And let me move this table border as well. Okay, maybe I think I went too far. Maybe somewhere here. Maybe a little more. Okay. Now next, the third one on the bottom row. Let me insert another image. This time, um, I think that is latte see and the next one i want to have an image of events.png okay so so far it's good and then um my background is a still white it's a kind of blank let's insert yes yeah, some uh, kind of tiled image so um in your properties panel, click on the page properties again. Go to HTML appearance and the background image. Let me browse coffee tile.png. So on the HTML by default setting, it will repeat as a tile, like tile, tiles image. And OK. See? So it looks now way better. It's a more coffee thing. Okay, 
now let me have a kind of a really simple text um, the first one I want to say our coffee it's kind of hard to see because the text is a black on really dark brown okay and then um, anyway let me type some text return hit the return key break the line just type any kind of a dummy text like that and then uh, in Dreamweaver when you hit the return key it makes that double spacing like that or if you want to have that that's just a single spacing hold down the shift key and return and you can have a single line spacing like that shift return shift return okay but first I want to make this top our coffee as heading number two so in your once you highlight it in your properties panel you see the format paragraph change it to heading number two and this is the um, uh, paragraph but I'm still it's hard to see it so um, I'm gonna change the settings go to page properties again so I'll um, go to heading heading number two which is our coffee text that one I want to have a different color for that uh, something a little bit brighter like that kind of a Sophia or something and okay see that now I want to control my text color as well page properties my text color I want to have just white okay okay so I have a text color in white I may have one more line period <laughs> let me make yeah uh, because this is anyway the dummy text placeholder text let me copy this whole text command C and in my uh, this next field I'm gonna just paste it paste it and paste it and let me just change the text uh, that is supposed to be a um, um, desserts this one supposed to be our specials and the last one is uh, events okay so um, it looks good let me save it and the next thing is uh, as I showed you at the very beginning I added some kind of footer with you know, some uh, social media uh, uh, linking so I'm um, return and then I'm gonna insert the image which is I named as a footer with the logos and then um, uh, the social media uh, logos and since I saved as the um, um, transparent PNG file it is all there we can see through the background image anyway okay so but the uh, I want to make a link from the each button from the Instagram uh, to Instagram Facebook Twitter and the YouTube so what we can do is we can define any uh, any specific area as a linking it used to be called the uh, image map but I'm now in the HTML5 it is called the uh, hotspot so once you choose this image check your properties panel on the bottom you will see that kind of a square circle and then a polygon style choose the um, uh, the circle one then I'm holding down the shift key let me just cover my Instagram logo with that if you want to risk a uh, position you can move around like that that's there now next Facebook button and Twitter and YouTube okay now let's make a link so first Instagram this is an Instagram homepage just to copy the entire URL starting from the HTTPS command C control C copy and then select the hotspot in the link field just paste it command V or the control V on PC and the next field the target let me change the target area to the blank this blank target will open your next page on the new tab 
so the user they don't have to go they they don't have to click on the back button okay so this is done my facebook facebook home page let me copy the entire url click on the facebook hotspot link to facebook and on blank targeting now twitter twitter copy the entire url select the twitter hotspot link to twitter in blank target next is the youtube let me check my uh, youtube copy the entire url link to youtube in blank target let me double check instagram in blank facebook in blank twitter in blank youtube in blank so it looks good let me save it and see how it works and preview in google chrome so it looks good my instagram see instagram opens in the new tab i can just close it facebook is working fine and twitter it is working fine and youtube it is working fine yeah looks great but the other uh, another issue is everything's flush left i want to position everything in center so I'll go back to uh dreamweaver and then i'm gonna change my mode from design to code it's pretty simple uh first thing is i'm gonna place my mouse cursor right before body tag see so this is my body the beginning of my body so right before body then let me open just one new tag center once you type it dreamweaver uh the center tag in dreamweaver it will create yeah, the closing center tag automatically so just to copy this and cut command x cut the closing center tag and then I paste it right after body tag. So everything's between the opening and closing center tag will be centered. So let me go back to design. See, everything's centered. Let me save it and preview it on Google Chrome. Scroll down, see? Monte Alto, the text is centered, everything's centered. And then um, everything's working fine. Instagram, Facebook. Twitter and YouTube okay so uh, we made the uh, some kind of a really simple external link to our existing website uh, and this time I'm gonna show you how to make the internal link uh, in my root folder so uh, so far we only have uh, index.html we're gonna create just one more page like the um, kind of a coffee page coffee so uh, let's do this back to Dreamweaver then just to select the image and delete it then go to on the insert menu insert tab i'm gonna insert the new image which is the other uh, coffee harvest the dutch apac this one and i'm gonna save it this page save as this time as coffee.html in the same root folder so let me check my root folder i have uh two html files index.html coffee.html images still images okay now I, let me make a link so back to index.html when i click on this coffee button i want to jump to a coffee.html so back to index.html select your coffee button once you select your coffee button, check your properties panel, you will see the link fill. Just click on this because this is going to be internal link. Click. Then you can make a link to a coffee.html. Open. I'm not going to change the target. And let me save this file. Command S. Now let me check my coffee.html. In coffee.html, when I click on home button, I want to go back home. 
So select your home button here, link to index.html, open it and save it. Now let's see how it works. Choose the index.html, Google Chrome. When I click on coffee, watch. See, I'm in coffee page. If I want to go back to home, click on home. So same way, you can create the about.html and dessert.html and contact.html and then you can just internally link to each other. So um, this is a really kind of a basic and simple website uh, for kind of a small business or your kind of personal web page. Okay, so I hope this tutorial uh, helped you understand the uh, kind of basic structure of a Dreamweaver site. And then I hope you enjoyed it and you can use it for your future project. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.